Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, it's Market Outlook time, and let's talk about what is happening today and this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. We're gonna start off by looking at the Sunday sell-off with maybe a little bit of squad battle rewards supply that is hitting the FIFA Ultimate Team market and hitting these TOTS cards and making some of their prices drop a little bit more. And then also, uh, the loading screen is no longer there, but we are getting Saudi League. The Saudi League is coming today. There was a loading screen earlier today um, um, that showed what is coming um, for the Saudi League. So that's going to be the second league that comes out. Um, this is the loading screen right here. That's going to be the second league that comes out this week because the EFL cards go out of packs today and the Saudi League is going to be going in packs on Monday. So uh, this was their loading screen today. I don't really know who this is. Some people are saying it's Gomis. Not sure. Uh, but the Saudi League is what was out last year, I think, when the Premier League was out as well. So it looks like they're, you know, maybe doing some similar leagues as, as they've done in the past. And that's what a lot of people have asked me. What's the league that is after Prem? Some people have been telling me Syria. And some people have been telling me it's going to be the same as last year with Bundesliga. So, uh, to be honest, boys, I don't know what is true right now. It's just all over the place. There's nothing that is for sure. Uh, so, we can speculate. We can look at the pack code and say, hey, Serie A is listed first in the pack code. But does that really mean that they're going to be uh, coming out first? Or is it going to be the same as last year? We really don't know. So, that's just something that we're kind of like looking at right now and we're not sure about. So, Look for more confirmation on that later this week, I would say. Uh, just look for like tweets by EA or any little hints that we might get as well about what the next set of Team of the Season cards, the main league at least, is going to be. That's going to be something that we're going to have to kind of to watch and to look out for. But the market is dropping a ton out of Weekend League at the moment. Uh, and I want to talk about that. I want to talk about other content we could see this week regarding Team of the Season in the Premier League. Now, if you look at these prices, uh, this is a lot of these cards are down a lot. They're actually at their lowest points that they have ever been for most of these cards, if not all of them. I think the only exception is like KDB is, uh, and Richarlison is still above what he was during lightning rounds. But a lot of these guys are very cheap. Soyuncu is still a bit expensive. Um, but these guys got packed a lot tonight. When is the buy time on these? Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we have to talk about this week in terms of like fodder, in terms of the guaranteed Prem SBC. Is it going to be Tuesday? Is it going to be Thursday? Um, this is my feeling right now, just to give you a quick thing at the beginning of the video talking about these prices. If you want somebody from the Prem team of the season to try out this week, if you want to try them out, I think now is going to be a time to buy them if you're looking to sell before Thursday rewards. Uh, honestly, we saw this with community tots. Kind of what happened was out of the weekend, they kind of hit a price, right? They kind of got low, and we'll go take a look at their some of their graphs to show you this, but um, they kind of got panic sold off, and they hit a lower price out of the weekend league, and that was kind of like their their price for the week, basically. Does that make sense? Like, they kind of, they kind of dropped off after uh, the panic selling, and they kind of just, after that weekend league sell-off, they kind of just kind of hit their range, like their normal range. So if you look at a guy like Zaha, right? Even Zaha is down. 780, this guy was 920K. But you can tell the community tots last week, they went down. They were pretty low on Monday. They rose a bit into the midweek. And then they went down again Thursday and Friday, or Wednesday and Thursday. And then they rose into the weekend. Not all of them rose as crazy amounts as like Zaha did, but Brandt. Brand is down at 159, man. This card, I think, was like 180, almost 190 at one point on the weekend at one point. But yeah, so he was 163. And as you can tell, a lot of these guys just kind of went down. Some of them con continued to go down throughout the week. Um, but there were some guys like Zaha was pretty hyped up, right? We just looked at his graph and he went kind of upwards in price from, from Sunday or Monday into uh, Tuesday. So I'm 740 to 770. So uh, if you want to try one of these new Premier League TOTS cards out, like especially a guy like Vardy, um, who doesn't have a team of the another like big card. He doesn't have a lot of other specials that are this high rated, and especially this one that has the weak foot upgrade. This guy was 1.15 million on Saturday. I would not be surprised if this Vardy card goes back to like 950 at some point during the week, um, just because of him being um, a very OP card that a lot of people want to try out. A lot of people say he's very good. So again, a lot of these cards are down a ton. They're down a ton. I think they could rise up a little bit this week, depending on what um, 
what happens with EA's content. I, I feel like some of these cards are like too cheap anyway, man. But that's how we felt last, way, last week about the community tots. We felt that a lot of these cards, which they're cheap again, man, and we can sell off. Wow. PK is 209k. A lot of these guys are cheap. I don't mind picking up some of these guys, to be honest. Um, to be completely honest, I don't mind picking up some of these guys if you want to for your squad. This is like, this is the last big time if you want to buy any really meta players this week. And, you know, leading up until Thursday rewards is going to be not the last time, I guess, but one of the final times where you can snag yourself high rated meta cards, especially ones that are out of packs um, at a discounted price. A lot of these guys are dropping out of this weekend because what's happening is people are wanting to try these new team of the season cards at the expense they're selling their team of the years. Like I'm watching this Mbappe right now. Uh, I'll drop a cheeky 2.9 million bid on this because uh, he's a 3.9 million coin card. So I'm kind of watching this team of the year Mbappe. I am throwing around the idea myself of possibly um, maybe buying Ronaldinho and Mbappe and seeing if I can work out you know, put them in my squad because a lot of these cards are going to rise back up. In my opinion, you're going to see them rise up a heavy amount. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with this bid because I'm recording a video, but I want to maybe get a cheeky bid in here and see where this Mbappe could go. Um, but a lot of these guys could rise, I think, this week because you've seen them drop a ton in price. Like Mbappe was 4.5 million two weeks ago. This Ronaldo was like 8 million a couple weeks ago. Now he's 7 million, almost going under 7 million. Um, icons are down. And uh, the other out of pack special cards are down as well. And this is what I really want to talk about and stress with you guys. Uh, Prem specials this week. And also, I'm going to go 3 4. Prem specials and uh, specials from whatever league is going to come on Friday. That's going to be the focus of our investing this week. And that time frame for investing right now isn't a terrible time on some of these out of packs cards uh, like Future Stars or like. Um, I'll go three, I'll go three, six. All right. This is my final bid because I don't want to make sure that I'm not, you know, three, six is pretty low, but I'll go three, six. It's my final offer right there. All right. It's my final offer. Um, out of packs, prem cards this week, right? I was looking at um, the right wing SAR. A lot of these cards are getting panic sold off from the weekend league. And they were pretty high this weekend. And now they're down just because people are finishing weekend league selling their teams off, right? This SAR was 258 earlier. He was two over 290 this weekend at one point. Uh, so just watch the panic selling on the Premier League cards because what we like with those is they're going to be linking to these new team of the season cards that people get from red picks. Um, that people get from red picks this week from weekend league rewards. So there's probably going to continue to be a lot of Premier League squads built this week. That's kind of that's kind of why I like the Zaha again, man. Like Zaha at eight seven or nine, seven ninety, um, seven eighty, I think is what it said on, on Footbin. Seven eighty for the Zaha card. If you want to try a Zaha, like he he might be back up at eight fifty, eight sixty after this weekend league. It's very very possible that he could be. Uh, so just watch the panic selling on some of that stuff this week, uh, and that's gonna be where I focus most of my coins most likely. If I don't buy a team. Or buy any like buy this Mbappe or buy anything like that. I'm probably going to be focusing most of my coins on those cards like I did last week, and I talked about it with you guys on uh, Friday night or on Saturday morning when I made that upload. I said, "Hey, I made a ton of coins this week doing this kind of trading and, and this kind of weekly, you know, fluctuation stuff." If you want to start buying uh, some of these other out of packs cards, I mean, be my guest. Like, you can start to chip away at these, but I would say go slow with it. I would say go slow with it if you find some cards you like. I like Lacazette this week. Again, Premier League striker, French. The, the chance to bounce, to have a bounce on that card is big. If it went up this past weekend, it's probably going to go up again. Shapeshifter Mares was another one I was a big fan of. Um, this Tosoko is really low. 653. How f I think this guy was like well over 700K this weekend. Um on saturday i believe yeah 700k okay so he maybe maybe wasn't well over 700k but he definitely was 700 000 coins and this is a very uh high tier center mid in the prem uh saint maximin is down but the real reason why i'm telling you guys to get on some of this stuff and why we're buying sooner rather than later is because of all the coins that are going to get influxed onto the market with this rewards team right here think about all the guys that got elite right Think about all the guys that got elite. They're getting three of these cards tradable. 
at minimum, you're making 400, 500,000 coins with the potential from a top 100 pack to make over 10 million coins. You pack KDB, you pack Aguero, and you pack Mane in the same top 100 pack. I mean, right there, that's almost, that's 8 million coins between those three cards right there on Thursday. So all it takes is for, you know, uh, somebody get crazy luck like that, and they're making a ton of coins. GG's if you got elite in the weekend league, by the way. But there's going to be a lot of coins pushed on the market, and just the high tier cards are really going to be boosted up because of all the guys that got elite this weekend are going to make tons of coins from rewards. They're going to go out and they're going to buy these new team of the season cards, and maybe some of the even uh, older cards like the Brant and like the Zaha that we looked at, and just other special cards in this game. So like high tier stuff, cards over 500,000 coins that are meta that are very usable. I would, I would expect to see a very nice rise on this Richarlison this week. Um, he went down a lot because of his new card. Um, but this one, this one was a position change, and then they gave him the 93, right? This one's 1.5, and this one's a million. Uh, and this Richarlison, this team of the season, has a lot of hype around him. Maybe not Richarlison, actually, because the price difference isn't that big. Only 500k, but... Um, you know, maybe a Ribéry. 1.28 for Franck Ribéry. Uh, if it is Serie A team of the season this weekend, that's going to be, that's ridiculously low price for him. Uh, and that'll be a card that goes up a lot with Serie A tots. But Premier League is, I think, the where you want to focus. Again, this Mares is, a, I'm a huge fan at that, at that price. That's really, really good. Um, this Lucas card was 400k at this at one point this weekend. Mares was like 350, 360. Tate Bauer was 245. Again, man, like a lot of stuff is just low after the weekend league sell-off because everybody is selling cards to go try to do or to try to try out to buy these team of the season cards. That's why you're seeing a lot of stuff get low. So if you're buying out of packs cards, just spread the wealth, right? If you're buying some of these out of pack specials like a, a Hate Bauer and Amaris, just buy like a couple of each. I wouldn't go all in on one card. That worked really well for me last week, just kind of spreading out the wealth, buying a few cards here or there. Erickson's 140k. That's crazy low for him. Um, but I would just say diversify, basically. Don't just buy all the same card. That way, if one of your cards doesn't rise that much, like last week, Headliner Wine Aldum that I bought didn't go up that much with rewards. Um, maybe you have some other cards that you bought that will go up a lot more instead of just one card that just goes up a little bit and you have a bunch of it. So spread out, look for more out of pack specials. And you don't have to buy those tonight, or you don't have to buy those early in the week. You can wait on those because a lot of low prices were seen later in the week as well as people were just waiting for that guaranteed Premier League or guaranteed community SBC last week. And I want to talk about that SBC for this week. When is it going to come? A lot of people have said it's probably going to come on Thursday again. I'm thinking they might drop the Prem guaranteed SBC either Tuesday or either on Thursday. I think those are the two days. Since they're dropping upgrade packs on Thursday, maybe they're going to drop the Prem SBC on Tuesday. That's just a thought. It's not for sure, but if we do see that, and if that gets added into the code, you're going to see a lot of panic on uh, Monday night headed into Tuesday if we see that added into the code. So that's just something to think about. Not for sure, just something to kind of think about as we go throughout our week and as a time frame sort of thing. Okay, that Mbappe went for 386, so definitely not in my price range for where I want to get that card. But um, just kind of watch out for that stuff this week. That's a possibility. The guaranteed SBC, I'm thinking, is probably going to be somewhere around 87 or 88 rated, requiring a team of the season card. Um, just because EA know they're going to they're gonna be able to get everybody to do this SBC. If you haven't done a club stock on Fodder, Fodder went up a little bit today, thanks to the uh, Marcus Alonso SBCs, both of them. So Fodder across the board is up a little bit. Not a crazy amount, but as you can see, I did do a club stock. I do have some guys in here. A lot of 87s, 86s, so I'm set. And if you haven't done a club stock yet, the prices aren't terrible. They could be better. If we go and check this out on Footbin, they could be better. Uh, 84s aren't terrible. 85s are just up a little. 86s are up 1 to 2K a card. So these car these prices aren't that bad. They were just a little bit cheaper before. So if you haven't got SBC fodder yet, maybe you try to get on some bids and try to snag these guys for a club stock. That's what I would do. Nothing more than that. Just stock some in the club because I would expect more very high quality and high value SBCs this week. Speaking of the SBCs, let's look at Alonzo really fast. 260K for the 90 rated card. I don't know how many of you guys are doing that, uh, but if you're doing that, you're probably playing him at CDM, right? Because that's not really like a left back card. 
in my eyes. It's more like a CDM. It looks great as a CDM, but um, 262K, I think it was just a bit overpriced for most people today. But it was kind of a weird, you know, a weird scenario with the the premium. The flashback Marcus Alonso, which is, th this is the card that I saw first. And I was like, man, that is not a very good card. And then I saw this one. I was like, okay, that's interesting. I'm glad this one has no expiration though. That's pretty cool. I would expect to see another one or two of these flashback to another team of the season. SBCs this week, as well as probably another player moments card. Uh, they're probably going to hit us with some SBCs this week on foot in terms of player SBC. So I would expect to see probably another team of the season SBC as well. And Diddy goes away in two days. I'm going to end up doing that one for sure. That's a very good card, very cheap and good value card in my opinion, but I would expect to see another one at some point this week as well. And then hopefully uh, even today on Monday, I would expect to get some other sort of player upgrade packs, whether it's 81 pluses, whether it's 80 plus player picks, um, I would expect some other SBC today. I hope that it's not 82 plus guarantees. Give us one that we can grind. And I hope that EA changes their mind on what they originally said and actually ends up giving us those premium league upgrade SBCs that we really want. But those are supposed to come out on Thursday. And I want to talk about that next. Thursday is going to be a massive day, depending on what comes and what doesn't. Uh, with all the stuff that should be coming, like the guaranteed prime SBC, if that's Thursday, the premium league upgrade packs, you have weekend league rewards. Uh, last week on Thursday, they dropped something else as well. I think they dropped the mid icon. Maybe that was Friday. Maybe that, actually that might've been Thursday. Um, last Thursday was a crazy day. That's why I'm not sure if they're going to drop all of their content this week on that Thursday again, but for Thursday with the premium league upgrade packs, what that is, is it's basically a 25 K pack with, um, all Premier League players. And that's why we're so hyped about those. And that's why we want those really badly in this game. Because think about it. If you're getting a 25K pack with all Premier League cards, which is by the way, the same upgrade pack that we had during team of the year, the potential of you packing some of these cards is just awesome. It is so, so awesome. And I, I really hope they release those for more than 24 hours like they say they are doing. Um, but what you're going to see with that is a lot of people are going to go unassigned on Premier League golds. So if you plan to do a Thursday, put in a shift on Thursday and like get a ton of golds to make these packs and go on a sign on golds to do this, what I would do is, is use this filter right here. Yo, min price 650, max price 750 on Premier League. And what I would do is if you're going to go on a sign with this, literally just start bidding on these. The earlier in the week that you do it, the better because people are going to start doing this. They're going to go on a sign because they're just going to try to make as many as those premium league upgrade packs on Thursday as they can. This is the thing that I hate the most about this. This really is getting in me, man. I really am not happy about this because if you make those packs, let's say you go a thousand cards on a side, you have to make all those packs on Thursday and you have to open them because if you don't open them before Friday at 6 PM, the team of the season cards are out of packs. So yes, you have 24 hours to do it, but that sucks. That really sucks to be not have that much time. If you're going to go on a sign on cards, that's going to be a tricky game to play. So I hope that EA changed their mind and just give us those packs for multiple days this week, because that would be awesome. Uh, but you know what? At least right now, it's not looking likely. Although my fingers are crossed. I keep tweeting at EA. I'm sure you guys see it. I'm like, hey, yo, dudes, give us these packs because we really want them. And uh, your game kind of sucks midweek without them, which really there's going to be not a ton to do this week, except maybe try out some team of the season cards, maybe work on objectives. If you're going to do the objectives uh, for Jimenez, maybe do some of that or maybe do an SBC or two that comes out. But if they don't release those upgrades, there's not going to be a ton of content unless they put the guarantee down on Tuesday. So depending on what happens with that, we'll have a lot more to talk about this week. But in general, team of the season cards, when to buy them, I think Thursday is going to be the time with the influx of the weekend league rewards, which is what we saw with community last week. All of the TOTS cards last week were their absolute lowest. Uh, two hours after Weekend League Rewards came out. So about two hours after when people started opening up their elite packs and all that stuff is when we actually saw the lowest for a lot of these cards. And I think it's going to be the same this week too. Um, and there's going to be a lot of people that want to go buy these Prem cards for their teams this weekend, right? Like Simon was 230k at rewards. These, these Prem cards have dropped a lot already uh aguero was like 26 27 this week and uh he is now i think at 229 
Two or three flat, there's pages of supply of Aguero, 227. So a lot of these cards have dropped um, and they're probably gonna stay around this range. You might see some cards, you know, bump up and down just because they're they're very, very desirable. This De Bruyne, I think a lot of people are gonna try him midweek. Uh, he's gonna be rare. And uh, so I would expect him to kind of bump around in price midweek. If you're a high tier trader, maybe you could look to flip this card because uh, just a ton of people are going to want to try to try him out. So 4.1 right there. All it would take is an undercut at like 3.9, and you might be able to get an undercut or a flip somewhere. So expect maybe some of these Tots cards. I think Vardy might fluctuate a lot this week. Possibly a guy like Henderson, um, Jordan Henderson, because of the just those desirable cards, right? They don't have any other special cards in this game, and they've dropped off a bunch already. These are going to be the guys that um, people are going to want to try out this week. Uh, Hendo's card, um, Richarlison, I think people will try out, Kovacic, Wambasaka. You know, the cheaper guys are going to be a lot easier to try out for a lot of people, but I think you will see some fluctuations on these. But Thursday is the ultimate buy time for a lot of them um, with the reward supply coming into this game. But again, meta out of pack specials from the Premier League are our main focus. And then whatever league is coming after the Prem. And if you're somebody that wants a very meta prime icon moments card, even though they're in packs, a moments card, a prime card, um, or a team of the year item, like we're talking really high tier, like a Ronaldo team of the year. If, if it is if it is going to be Serie A team of the season, now you might have a little bit of, his price not, might not rise a ton, but Liga and team of the season is not going to be for a few weeks. Neither is La Liga Santander. Uh, so definitely take a look at some of these cards. If you want them for your team, it's going to be uh, a lot of market rising. Wow. Messi at 3.5, under 3.5. Wow, that's got to get bought pretty quickly, yeah? Wow, man. Messi's really dropping right now. This guy was well over 4 million coins last weekend. So crazy drops in a lot of these cards. And the market's going to get a ton of coins on Thursday to boost the stuff back up. So that's the market outlook for this week. Lots of stuff that could happen. I hope EA makes it a fantastic week of Premier League Tots. We're really relying on the SBCs that they put out and hopefully we can pack some team of the seasons as well i've only packed one tots that wasn't a guarantee that's why you don't see this counter man i'm gonna flaunt this counter when i get some more team of the seasons but for now really haven't got any so hopefully you guys have and hopefully you've been able to open some packs i look to do the same this week on my account as well as keep you guys up to date with the market and stuff like that if you enjoyed this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out